hey lovies welcome back to another delicious recipe and on today's recipe i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this delicious and simple oxtail stew so if you're interested in watching do stay tuned as i take you through the process so for this recipe we're going to be needing some long pointed peppers three onion three scotch bonnet pepper and some garlic I'm going to be using some oil, some tomato paste, curry powder, thyme, bay leaf and beef stock powder. So I'll start by washing the sweet long chili peppers and I'm going to be washing them and taking off all the seeds inside. So when I'm done washing all the peppers, I'll make sure I take all the water off the peppers. I'll get my oval tray because I'm going to be roasting those peppers to give it that smoky flavor and make it come out red and dry. So I'm going to transfer all the peppers into the baking tray, sprinkle in a little bit of salt and wet the onion with some olive oil. You can do this with any oil of your choice. So the reason for roasting the peppers is to make the waters from these long pointed peppers to dry off so the stew will come out delicious and dry. But if you don't want to roast the peppers, you can go ahead and blend it and steam these peppers in the pot to drain off all the waters. So right now I'll transfer the peppers into the oven and bake until it is well roasted which would take me about 25 minutes to do so. So right here I have my garlic, onion, bell peppers and a bit of my long peppers. I'm going to roughly blend these to parboil to steam my oxtail. So I will transfer the already washed oxtail into the pot, add in some thyme, curry powder, which I'm using one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of thyme. I will add in my beef stock. You are free to use any stock of your choice, my beef stock powder. And I'll go ahead and make sure I massage this into the oxtail thoroughly so it will absorb into the oxtail as I'm not going to be steaming, as I'm not going to be parboiling this. I'm just going to steam this with no water added so the oxtail will absorb all the flavors from the season which I'm using. So I went ahead and add in some salt and I'll go ahead and keep on massaging this thoroughly. So when I'm done with this process, I'll arrange the oxtail properly in my pot so each one can touch the bottom of the pot as I'm not adding water to this as I said earlier so they all need to cook evenly. I'll go ahead and add in my peppers, onion and garlic into the pot and i'm not going to be stirring this so that the peppers will be at the bottom and not get burnt so i'll add in my bay leaves from for some flavors and i'll cover this and cook on a very low heat so it will it won't get burnt so this was about 10 minutes later i'll go ahead and flip the oxtail into the other side so it will cook also so guys thank you very much for clicking on this video if it's your first time here you're welcome to Lydia Isaac TV my name is Lydia thank you very much for clicking on this video I hope you keep on watching and I hope you do enjoy watching at the end of the day and if you do so please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up click on that red subscribe button if you have any questions regarding this recipe, don't forget to drop them on the comment section as I will be there reading your comments and giving replies to any questions you have for me. And also do check me out on my Instagram page at Lydia Isaac TV, where you can also message me privately in case you have any private questions. So at this moment, I'll go ahead and cover up the oxtail and allow it to keep on cooking. So this was 20 minutes later, I went ahead and opened it up and at this moment I'm going to be stirring it. 
so you can see the liquid that came out from the oxtail as you know i didn't add any water so this is the liquid that came out from it because i did um, steam it on a medium heat so it didn't get burnt and also i'm using a non-stick pot so at this moment i will get them off the fire and i'm going to be straining them off the stock that came out from the oxtail which i'm going to be reserving to make my sauce so i'm going to be grilling this oxtail but if you want you can fry it or you can air fry it any one but i'm going to be using my oven to grill this oxtail i just want it to be a little bit dry and also grilling it is going to give it a lot more flavor so at this moment my peppers are well roasted and smoky so i'll go ahead and transfer them into my blender and i'm going to be blending them So this is what my peppers look like so right now i'll transfer my pot into the fire and i'm going to be adding my cooking oil for this tomato for this no tomato stew you need more oil to um stir fry your peppers so it will dry up properly else it's going to splash everywhere and your kitchen is going to be a mess so i went ahead and stir fried my onion for about two minutes so right now I went ahead and add in my tomato paste which I'm going to be cooking on a medium heat and allow it to cook thoroughly to take off the sour taste from it. So you can see my tomato paste is well dried up and at this moment I'm going to add in my already roasted bell peppers. I'll put my fire on a medium heat so it doesn't splash all over the kitchen and i'll keep on cooking this on the medium heat until i achieve that dried and delicious tomato sauce So right now i'll go ahead and add in half a teaspoon of thyme i'll add in a teaspoon curry powder this is going to give it extra flavor so right now i'll cover this halfway to keep on cooking So guys, if you notice, you see that I didn't add in more salt and season cube. Reason is that we still have our stock from the oxtail, which already contains my salt and beef season. So I'm going to be using that to season this up. So right now, I'll go ahead and add in the stock from my oxtail which I already strained off the particles from it. I'll cover this up and allow the stew to keep on cooking. And at this moment, my stew is well cooked. It is dried up. And at this moment, I'm going to be transferring in my already grilled oxtail into the stew and I'll give it more time to keep on cooking. I will stir this up and allow it to cook and at the end of the day my stew is ready and delicious i bet you want to try this recipe so guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe till i see you on my next recipe do have a beautiful day bye bye